What's up everyone, Mitchell Salzman here alongside Fred Sullivan. Hey, what's up? And today we're gonna to be talking about the Dragon Ball Super Broly trailer number three. There are three of these trailers, Fred. There are three of these trailers, it's a lot. And uh, one thing that I think we immediately have to jump into is the fact that I think for the first time in anime form, we have finally seen confirmation of Super Saiyan God Vegeta, that is Super Saiyan Red Vegeta. Absolutely, yeah. It's, um, uh... It's awesome to see finally. Yeah. I know there's been a lot of artwork about that all so, over the place. So tell me about this because you you I think are, are a little more up on up in the know for, for Dragon Ball Super manga. Uh, what what happens with, with what's the difference between uh, Super Saiyan God versus Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan? which is Super Saiyan Red versus Super Saiyan Blue. God, yeah. Dragon Ball is confusing. Yes, pretty much. Uh, so, from what my understanding is, is that Super Saiyan God, the red form, is actually a faster version, uh, less powerful, and uses less stamina than the Super Saiyan Blue form, which obviously has a little bit more of a punch. That's what they, their standard form they usually go into now, just because it's better for fighting in general. Right, and you see in uh, the Goku Black, Goku Black fight, I believe, they, uh, Goku switches back and forth between them for that reason. Yeah, so obviously the speed of red makes it a little bit, so he's a little bit more elusive, uh, while blue obviously actually packs the punch and power that he has. So, so referring to the movie, why do you think that uh, Vegeta is going to be using this form? It, it is showing this form for the first time against Broly. Man, it's interesting, right? Because in the previous trailers, you see that he goes after Vegeta first and he kind of gives that smirk at first. Yeah. So it looks like he almost has a little bit of pride in this because it's, it's another saying. So yeah. he's like, on the prince, like I've had to deal with Goku for a long time now, but like, this is a new one. Let me show him that like I got all these different forms. I got all this power. Yeah. So I think that might be it. I actually wonder if uh, if Vegeta is taking Broly lightly, which would be a very interesting departure from the original movie because uh, Vegeta was scared. I, I want to curse, but he was he was very scared yeah. of of Broly, of the legend of the legendary Super Saiyan. Uh, in the original movie, and I wonder if that will be uh, at play here in this new movie. Yeah, I mean, it obviously looks like Vegeta's more like his usual self in these trailers sure. in comparison to what that old movie was. It was kind of, he was just scared the entire time and did nothing for more than half the movie. Yeah. He looks to be a little bit more hands-on and looks to actually be looking to beat Broly and showcase his power. Yeah, another thing that I think we should talk about is there's a line of dialogue in this trailer where Goku said, or someone says that uh, he isn't fighting because he wants to. Referring to, I, I believe, obviously referring to Broly. Yeah. So do you think that Broly is gonna be kind of a, more of a not so bad guy, maybe a, a guy who's being manipulated against his will, even though he's a manip manipulated against his will in the fir in the original movie. Yeah. But even after he broke free of that manipulation, he still ended up being pretty a pretty awful dude. Yeah, he was pretty just like pure evil, yeah. just completely. Just complete rage, evil rage. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it looks like in this movie he's gonna be, I think he's still very angry, he's a Saiyan. I think that yeah. they're gonna have that kind of tendency to them, especially because the way he was probably brought up is not exactly in the best of ways from Paragus, but it's definitely that he's manipulated. That was kind of the same thing that happened in the first movie as well. Yeah, and then uh, one other thing that I think we should note is there's a really iconic, what I think is gonna become an iconic scene in this movie of Goku and Vegeta back to back, Goku doing a Kamehameha, mm -hmm. Vegeta doing a Gallic Gun, which, by the way, is gold, not purple. Very strange. I don't know what's going on with that. No get, idea. Get your, get your facts straight. <laughs> it's a Kira Toriyama. He doesn't really remember everything. Um, but I think the implication of this could be that we might be seeing uh, Gogeta in this in this film. Yeah, that's been rumored kind of all over the place. Uh, I mean, obviously with the relation to the movie releases that they've done, like the two uh, like kind of one-offs, and then they also, in some of the games, they're making it so... It seems that everything's pointing towards it, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? Someone's gotta teach them that dance. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Vegeta knows it, and obviously he doesn't want to do it, because he made that blatantly clear in Z. Yeah, and then finally, uh, one other thing that I think we should touch on is this is the third trailer for this movie, um, and I think it's great. Um, the first two trailers kind of they each had their own thing that they were teaching us about what this movie is going to be. The first one was introducing us to Broly, the new version of Broly and Paragus. Second one was telling us, okay, we're going back into the the, his, the history of Broly, the history of uh, Goku. Yeah. This one was kind of just more, uh, it, was, it was very combat heavy, saying like stories are being told through combat here. Yeah. And my question to you and to the chat also, do you think that this trailer showed us too much? 
I think that it may have shown a little bit too much. I mean, in combination with the first two trailers as well as this one, it feels like we have seen a lot of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was more of like a hype trailer than anything, I believe. Mm -hmm. But I do think that maybe a little too much has been shown. Yeah, th these movies are not going to be too long, I think. No. I feel like we've, we've kind of seen all the set pieces. We've seen, you know, just about every transformation that's going to be in the movie. Uh, I, I, I personally feel like seeing Super Saiyan Red Vegeta for the first time in anime form in this movie would have been a really cool surprise. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, like, that's a huge reveal that we haven't been able to actually see yet. And, like, having it put into a trailer is like, it was cool when I was first watching it, but then I was like, man, how much better would that have been if you saw it in theater? Yeah. You know? All being said, though, I think it was a great trailer. Uh, I thought, you know, that end shot of Broly screaming, yeah. muscles Ooh. ripping out of his body. Oh my god, so cool. I can't wait. Can't I really wait. can't. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for more Dragon Ball Super Broly. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.